Hello everyone and welcome back to Verdun with Hippo the Yuppies. This time I'm charging as the Americans. As a doughboy. Grenadier guy. I have this funny rifle and three French grenades. And I'm on a desperate attempt to infiltrate infiltrate a German trench, but oh well, not that way, but the other way, it's the German machine guns and I don't wanna go there! But I kinda have to because we're attacking, so... Uh, at least we're getting some RT support, and I'm shooting at some distant targets that I can barely see. Bullets are whizzing by me and I need to get to this range! Oh, shit. Let's try it again. Yes, I can make it. I can make it. Come on, come on! I can make it. Yes. Whew. I couldn't talk to you, sir. Oh. Hello there, Fritzes. I came to say hi to you. Yeah, this rifle, if you thought that's a Springfield 1903, then you would be wrong, because it's actually a M1917 rifle, or P17 rifle also, I think. Basically, this is an Enfield rifle, a British Enfield rifle that has been uh, modified by the Americans, and... Uh, the thing was that uh, the British had ordered rifles from the US that were supposed to replace the uh, Enfield rifles that the British were using. But then the First World War broke out and um, these new rifles that were for firing a new cartridge were modified uh, so that they would fire the old Enfield cartridge. And then these rifles were produced in the US for the British. Still hanging with me. <laughs> and then when US entered the war later on, then the US realized that instead of converting these factories to produce Springfield rifles, they could just modify the rifle a bit to accept American cartridges. And that's how you came up with the uh, M1917 rifle here. So that's a bit complex story, but Oh well, it seems like it's an okay rifle here in Verdun. I'm not personally a huge fan of the... Oh shit, that's the end of my trench rating there. But anyway, I'm not a huge fan of the sights in the rifle. And for some reason it uh, has six rounds in the magazine, so... Uh, uh, basically you load one five round stripper grip, and then you load one more extra round by hand, so... It's pretty weird. Damn those Germans and their sauerkraut farts. Now I have to wear this goddamn gas mask. Cannot see anything. Checking this trench here in case there's some Germans sneaking behind me, but looks like no. No, they're coming here! Christ! Holy shit! One last round. Yeah! Yeah, here you can see the full reload process. So first super clip and then one next around. So it's pretty weird reload there. And yeah, in the sides, the it's the uh, huge uh, ring there that's really bothering me because it's just blocking so much. And the side itself is just kind of big. And I don't like it so much. The front side is nice, but oh, well. Nice front side doesn't help if you stand as a target for snipers. So let's try this again. And we're not doing so well in this round because we have already lost two trenches and this is actually our last trench, but it seems like the Germans are having a lot of difficulty. Whoa, that was really close. <laughs> I think the other guy managed to fire around at me, but my round hit, so <laughs> that's what counts. 
But anyway, yeah, we have lost two trenches and this is our last trench and uh, But it seems like the Germans now have a lot of difficulty to get getting this trench so And we're def defending now for the moment, but we only have a bit more than three minutes of time So there's no way we could capture two trenches in this time. So So yeah, doesn't look very good, but Maybe we can use this defense period to get some points at least. <laughs> Selfishly. Oh, there are some Germans again. Hmm. Got that one, and that one. And I got the promotion! Well, that's always nice. Ugh, oh, this hand loading takes forever. Oh, they have a smoke screen in there. And I can shoot for seat right now. Come on, you pro- There we go. You have to lead the targets. Nice reload this time because I just put one stripper clip in and that's it. Oh, here they come again. Whoa! What the fuck? How did they get this close? Wait, what? What? I just hit that guy. Oh shit. I want to see that shot again. Let's see. What the fuck? That was dead center. I call bullshit. Ah, oh well, life will go on, I suppose. Hey, I saw you. What? Oh, both missed. That's unusual. Well, take this. Mm, looks like he's not there. Oh, there's only this handsome Belgian here with his fancy hat. <laughs> oh well. Oh, and now it's the last minute of the game already. Let's see, can we still do something? Oh, oh well, let's play whack-a-mole then. Holy shit, he threw his own grenade. Ah, uh, duck! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> There's only the feet left from the guy, but... Oh, poor guy got blasted by grenade, but... I avenged him because I got the Germans to with my grenade. I got two Germans with the single grenade, so that was a nice way to finish this round, I suppose. Nah, come on, one last charge for the heck of it. Charge! Oh, I can hear the German machine guns, maybe not. I don't feel like dying the last second. <laughs> oh well. Well, at least I got a few kills and an achievement apparently, as well. So, oh look, there's like one guy standing on the hill in the horizon. So cool. Oh well. We took a bit of a beating, but at least it was fun. That's what matters, I suppose. No. Uh, apparently I was an effective squad player somehow. <laughs> I didn't really do anything, but oh well. And let's see. Ah, I managed to get some kills. That's nice. Anyway, I hope you liked this uh, bit shorter Verdun video this time. And uh, give me a like and a comment below what you thought. And I'll see you on the next one.